Well, if it isn't CSI's very own Box Mulder. No aliens here, Brian. Well gone home. Ah, <laughs> you're hilarious. Where's Brown? Bedroom. You won't be happy you're here. Nobody ever is. Who found him? His wife. Where is she now? The station. The China Palmer. She's in shock. Is she a suspect? Yes. She's being questioned later. Good. It isn't your typical everyday murder, is it? If it is one. Murders aren't typical, Sergeant. They're just unfortunate. Mrs. Key, we understand that this is a difficult time for you, but if you could tell us what you know. Well, I've already given you a statement of what I know. We appreciate this, but if you could enlighten us on what you wrote in your statement, it would really help us with our investigation. How's it going? Can you not eat in here, please? Sorry, Mum. Didn't mean to break the concentration. Shouldn't you be in there? What are you doing here, Brian? Well, Anne, I came to see you. Well, I don't have time for you right now. Very nice. Comes with a job. Don't say. A word. Well? We're letting her go. What? We've got two sworn statements from witnesses that prove she wasn't there the night of the murder. Sorry, Mum, but there's nothing else we can do. Got time for me now. All right, Brian. What do you want? What is it? Well, after the victim's death, I thought I'd dig a little deeper into things, and I found this. And what does this have to do with anything? Look at the address. It's the same as the victim's. It's because it is the victim's. You see, this family moved in four years ago. The day they moved in was the day they were murdered. The case was later closed due to no significant evidence being found or led to anyone. What is it? Mr Keane, the victim. He also died the first day he moved into that place. So did his wife if she was there? That's to say if she didn't kill him. You still think she'd done it? She's a fine suspect, despite what Brown thinks. What do you think? What are you looking for, Brian? I'm looking for this. Two years before the McAfee murder, this happened. This doesn't make any sense. Why were they killed? And by who? Not by who. By what? You have a theory? Do you, Inspector? The mysterious deaths all date back to the 80s. A man called Lars Collins was murdered in his home along with his family. 
The victim's home. Exactly. After which, people used to claim, they used to, they used to hear voices. They claimed that the Collins family were warning them to stay away, threatening that if they didn't, death would catch up with them. Maybe the Collins family never left. Brian! <laughs> it would explain all the murders. Come on, be serious. I am. So you're to tell me that all the victims have in fact been murdered by ghosts? Not ghosts, Anne. Spirits. It just seems funny, doesn't it? However, since there are the past owners have been killed, all in that building, all unexplained and all on the first night. Excuse me. Detective Inspector Reed. That was Brown. What did he want? He wants me to go back to the crime scene. Why? The victim's neighbour called. Said Mrs Keane was seen going into the house. She has yet to come out. Let's go over there then. <laughs> 